Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've been having a ton of fun with these little fun fidgets. I've got a sweet upgrade for the text feature, so let's get cracking. So, friends, if you haven't made the first one, I will have a link up above so that you can find that project. You want that first, and then after you complete that, make sure you back out to this screen so you can make a duplicate of the original code. You don't want to ever lose your code because I keep finding smarter ways to build these. So my friends, we've got an inside and an outside. I'm gonna turn up the speed of this, and when we hit play, so what this does is create a cute little fidget spinner that prints in place. But today I'm gonna show you a really smart way to add two rows of text. Let's start by adding some smart stuff right here. So I'm gonna break this out, and let's go to math and create a new variable called sides. Make sure you hit rename, type sides, S-I-D-E-S and then set this to how many times you want this to rotate. So I'm gonna set mine to 10, and then where I had the number 10, I'm gonna put that piece of data, sides, in the box. And then what that does is it allows us to make this math smart. Bring out an extra math box, and we need to type 360, because that's how many degrees are in a circle, and we're gonna divide that by that variable sides. I'm gonna bring my math over this way and then I wanna make sure you see that I'm putting this edge in this box where we used to have 36 where I did the math for you because it was a 10 sided shape. Now it'll find what that number of degrees is and multiply by I on each level of our project. So it's a little longer but it does the thinking for us. Watch how cool this is. If I all of a sudden say I want an eight-sided shape and we hit play, boom, it does the math to spread those out evenly in one simple step. Real quickly, I'm gonna change this to six and I'm gonna change this to 10. I'm gonna make the height six and let's hit play and see how this looks. It's in the middle and it gives me a spot where I can spin and touch it. I'm gonna change this height to eight and try that again. I think that's what I want for this project and now I'm gonna use our cool text tricks to put this up on top of both. To make this easier to see, I want you to collapse your blocks and then I'm gonna move them as far left as I can and then I'm gonna build up here a new object. I want you to call your object text one I need you to return to the math again. And I want you to create another new variable. This one we're gonna call n. If you've been in math class, you probably used n a lot. We are also gonna set our sides. So make sure you click and change sides. And I want this to be 12 for the letters that I'm gonna make right now. While I'm up here at the top of this, I'm gonna change this to say, it's gonna be called smart text fidget. So let's quickly go to our shapes and find that piece of text. Stretch it out and then I tell people to always use capital letters. I'm gonna put a G for get cracking. Real quickly we're gonna scale these so find your modify and your scale and to make this super smart let's return to math and really quickly create three new variables and we'll put them up here. So first rename the first one and call it X. Make sure you always bring out a new one of these, never duplicate these. We're gonna rename this Y. And then we're gonna bring out a third one and we're gonna rename it Z. And then I'm gonna tell you Z is 0 0.25 and I use Y of 0 0.3 and I use X of 0 0.3. Now by doing this, when we drop these in the correct spots, so X gets X, Y gets Y, Z gets Z, later if we modify these, the entire text will modify in the same one click. So this is super smart to build like this. We need to quickly come out here and rotate our text around X, leave that one blank. Now we need to move our shape out. I have found the numbers that I like to use are negative 13 on the Y. And then for Z, I'm gonna put this at the bottom 
and the number I like is 6. Let's be brilliant about this though and make a variable for this. I'm going to call this one height, so rename, and I'm going to put a 1 because I may want a different one later. So this will be height 1, and like we just said, it's 6. So now if we go over to our data, if we put this variable right here, it adjusts on everything the whole way through. While we're being real smart, let's be smart for this y as well. Bring out another create variable. Make sure you never duplicate these. Do rename, and we're going to call this yt because this is the y for the text. Once again, let's put that negative 13. And then when we drop yt in, this will change if we ever adjust the numbers. Finally, we need to return and find our rotate, and we've got to rotate around z. And then we're going to do some really fancy math where we bring out two of these little blocks. And then in this box, we're going to do 360 divided by the number of sides, which is that variable. And remember up here, we set sides to 12. And then in this box, we're going to bring out that variable n, and we're going to multiply. Remember, when you bring this in, we drop it in that box. So it's n times the 360 sides, grab underneath the math, and drop it where the 90 was. Notice if you drop this edge, it doesn't work. You have to take the left edge all the way over to drop it in the hole. And then we do want to add the 0, 0, 0 out here. Don't forget we skipped this one. The last part is what makes this amazing. Simply bring out the change item, and we're going to change n by 1. All right, friends, so this is our piece of text. We're going to zoom way out so we can see better. Friends, we are close to having a usable part. First, make that a hole, and then right-click and duplicate on it, set it below. So hopefully you can see that when this second one goes through, n is going to increase. And if we hit play, we will all of a sudden have two letters that are spinning around just like that. I'm going to zoom as far out as I can. I'm going to right click on the text and I'm going to move it down below. Now you can see I've got four of them. Remember, we're going to make 12 because I think that's the most you should probably do. We're going to right click and duplicate again. So that gives us eight. Notice I set it down here. Then I use the slider. Then I can grab that chunk of text and drop it below. Remember, this was four. So four more would give us 12. Right click, duplicate, set down use the slider to get to the bottom so then you can carefully drop these in place friends when you hit play you will have just created all the text that you need i want to create an amazing second chunk of text and we're going to do that by going to create variable n and duplicate be patient it takes a second for it to move and then set it down we don't want to create variable n anymore, so we can right click on it and do delete. Instead, we want to quickly switch to math and we want to set n. So once again, I just hit set item n and we need to set it back to zero. Then we can bring out our create new object. Remember, we always make new ones of these or it breaks the code blocks. And we're going to rename this as text two. So I want text two to show up here on top, right? Check this out. If we go to math, all we've got to do is bring in a set item, change it to H1. And since we want it near the top, let's put a 20. When we hit play, we will almost instantly have text on the bottom, text on the top, and that little piece in the middle. Now notice I missed. So instead, let's try 23, and bam, <laughs> that's pretty darn slick. Friends, the final part of this is we need to slide down below everything else and create the final project. So when you bring out this object, let's rename it, and this will actually be the spinner. To assemble it, we are going to add copies of all the objects. Remember, we have four objects. So duplicate those. 
and then go to your data and let's bring them in. First we need the inside, then we need the outside. Then we're going to add text 1, and then we're going to add text 2. Let's make sure we remember that the text are both holes, so make sure you click those, and then we're going to make those a group. And then after you assemble it, you need to clean up all your original parts. So we add four of those, so we're going to do duplicate. This time I'll be smarter and make them a pair and duplicate and then grab that top one and connect it. And then we're gonna delete our original parts. So delete the inside, delete the outside, delete text one, and delete text two. Friends, the moment of truth, when you hit play, as long as this is below all your parts, it will assemble a sweet spinner at the moment with silly words, but in the next step, I'll show you how to turn it into one that has real words. Just need to give it a second to group, and there it is, cut in and ready to spin. All right, friends, so if you made it to this step, congratulations. It looks like a mess, but really, we created one part and we reused it, which is smart coding. So speaking of smart, let's back out, and now we need to create our phrases. I'm going to create one that up on the top says HL Mod Tech and on the bottom says Get Kraken. The first step of that process is to duplicate my original because I don't ever want to break that one we just built. Whenever you open your duplicate, make sure you change the name. This one's going to be called HLMT for HL Mod Tech. And now let's go to those words. So text one is at the bottom and I'm going to have it say Get Kraken. Well, if you count, that's G-E-T space C-R-A-C-K-I-N. So it uses 11. So I'm going to change this to 11, and I'm going to go to the very bottom, and I'm going to throw out the last piece of text because I don't need 12. I only need 11. And then we're going to make these say the right letters. So I've got the G. I'm going to do a capital E. I'm going to do a T. Now we are going to skip a letter. So after the T, we're going to increase N by 2. This is another one of those things you got to make sure that you keep track of. And then I'm going to go down and throw out another letter. Because I am going 11 places, but I'm not doing 11 numbers. So there's my T, there's my 2, and then let's spell Kraken. C R A. I like to use the slider to move down. C K I. And finally, N. Let's bump up the speed and let's see how that first word turns out. There's get space cracking, and the G actually connects. Friends, this is why we do the smart code. I want a space here, right? All I've got to do is go back and change my sides to 12, and now it doesn't put a letter in the last spot because I don't have the letter in there. I deleted the spot, it does the spacing, and once it is all built, we have got get, and we've got cracking, and there's a space in between them. I want the top line to say HL Mod Tech, so let's do HL space M O D T E C H. So that's 10. I'm going to once again make sure I've got a space because I've just learned that. Let's put 11 and let's replace our letters H L. This is where I skip 2. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to move this over so they're not running into each other. You can use this slider to hide things that are in your way. So I'm going to just move that all the way to the left. And then bring the slider back over so I can see these letters as I'm filling them in. I'll zoom in a couple clicks now. So let's go. We've got H, L. This one I need to increase by 2. Then I'm going to put the M. Once again, make sure you always do capitals. So M. 
O. Slide with this slider because it's easier than the scroll wheel to keep track. D. T. E. C. And last but not least, H. Underneath the H, these should be able to be thrown out. All right, friends, this is pretty complex, so I'm going to do cleanup blocks. That way they arrange. Let's check and see if the order's good. I've got the variables, the inside, the outside, then text one. And then if we scroll all the way down, I've got text two. I've made all my cool text. So let's hit play and see what we built. Inside, outside, get cracking, and HL Mod Tech. And then you just gotta wait for it to group together. All right, friends, so as you can see, mine seems to have frozen here. It's not doing the last step. Let me show you how I'm gonna fix this. First, I did right click and I did clean up blocks. So that makes it all in a row. Then go down to text two, and we are just gonna set this text. So find your set item, and remember we made that variable yt. Down here, the number that we used was negative 13. I'm gonna just change this to negative 12. So it's a little closer to the center of the outside. Let's hit play and see if that solves it. I'm not sure if it was an issue with my code or maybe somehow those letters just were a little further out. But you can see there, it grouped just like you'd expect it to. Now you can adjust your numbers and get them exactly perfect. I'm going to try 24 for that, and I'm going to scroll up to this first one, and I'm going to see what happens if I make its height 5. Let's hit play and take another gander. And there we have it, friends, the Mod Tech Get Kraken Spinner. If you happen to go through all these steps and you're in my class, remember that you need to hit export and you're gonna export an STL. And these STL files, you always go over to quick access and you need to put them in the STL folder and make sure they have your name on it. Friends, that was a lot to throw at you. There's a lot of code in there, but once you get it working, the big thing you always want to remember is make a copy so you don't lose your original. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.